Uh, almost had it though. And you gotta have some humor. Bounce back like really fast. But nice. Yeah, if you notice, you can actually pull off tricks like that. Yeah. I'm trying to do a different trick. Don't just like flip in the air. Ah, uh, well. Uh, God damn. I really suck at this mini game. Yeah, but you can do tricks like that. <laughs> Don't exactly know the terms for these tricks, but hey, it's cool. And if you get enough speed, like you saw, you get to do like one of that flips in the air. Oh god, this part. Eh. Maneuver through forest. Uh, j whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Jesus. Wow, I'm amazed I haven't hit a tree yet. Ah, ah, ah. I made through that whole thing without getting hit. Ah! Uh, but of course they screw up there. Okay, moving on. Get the... Wow, I actually got the blue balloon. Don't usually get that. Avoid the giant chocobo snowman, I believe. Alright. And I believe another intersection's coming up. You want to go to the left. Right? Yeah, go left. Because if you go left, because depending on where you go, depends on where you end up in the next area. And you want to actually do it like this. Oh! Whoa, snowballs. Ah, pfft. I jumped, come on. I guess I jumped too late then. Jump. Oh, almost didn't clear. Get out of my way. What the fuck? Oh, that's bullshit. Uh, this might not be amusing to watch, but it's fun to do. Go left again. Why not? Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, there's a lot of snowmen. Uh, I think that should do it. Uh... Whoa, how'd I do that? I actually, like... Ah! Get this really bumpy ride. Ah! 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 <laughs> Jump! Ow! Let's just not get knocked over again and waste any more time. And that does it, I believe. Eh, about three and a half minutes. Not bad. I could have done better, but... Oh, well. And I should end up in a certain area if I did that right. Did I do it right? Please tell me I did it right. Yes, I did. Okay, good. This is the area you end up if you take all lefts. Yep, we're still in one piece, thankfully. Can't stand it. Alright. Yeah, if you press the square button while you're out here, you can open up the... Right away, a fight game, really. Oh, I forget what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, you can press square to open up the map right here. It's pretty useless, but if you know where you are, it actually helps. Like, we're in that little intersection with the weird Y-looking shape. I'll put an annotation link uh, to show you where it is. All right. I know there's, like, an item we can pick up right here, but I'm... Oh, wait, is that it up there? No, it isn't. I'm deluding... Oh, here it is, the mine source. There we go. So, yeah. Now, the next parts of this place can be pretty confusing. I guess that's a little problem with this game. You can't exactly see where you're going, but, eh, it's okay. Just found my way out anyway. Now, there's a little mini game coming up that I really am not going to like. Well, it's not a mini game, but it's just a little thing you have to do if you want to get a certain treasure. Alright, so, okay, it's coming up right now. By the way, if you're going to fight any enemies here, use beta, because most of them are ice elemental, and, well, yeah, beta will pretty much kill them instantly. And we pick up that potion right there, and now let's head toward here. Now this part of, now this little thing right here can be really tricky. Um, you have to move in a certain way, and it's a little thing where if you go the wrong way, yeah. Like the bridge things start, like, becoming different sizes, and if you don't go the right way, well, you're going to get stuck, and then you're screwed. You have to do this over again. So hopefully I'm doing this right. Go north three times here. Go left. Down. Right. Right. North. There we go. And that's how you clear that. All this is completely optional, but hey. Ugh, come on. Like I said, this is completely optional, but it's a good idea if you actually get it. Yeah, because you get certain items for, um... Oh, come on. Oh, wait. Um... What the fuck? My control's not working. What the hell? Uh, sorry about that, guys. It's completely optional to get all this stuff, but if you do, it helps. Just go down. Uh, hang on, this is ridiculous. 
Okay, there we go. Oh, come on. I had to hold left. I thought I had to hold up or down. Anyway, we get the safety bit, which prote which is an accessory that protects you from one-hit kills. All right. Now, the annoying thing here is that we have to go back, and it's a completely different order. I really don't remember, like, ha there being so many enemy encounters in this place. So, now I have to head back. So, let's do this. We go down, then left. Head down again. Head to the right. Head to the right again, I believe. Down. Left. Down. Right. Down. Left. And then down again. And that's how you get the safety bit and actually get back. And now, well, now that we've done that, we're going to head northeast. Well, it just pretty much be north. We just head north right here. All right. You, yeah, like I said, the map's pretty useless. It doesn't tell you where you are, so unless you, like, recognize a land point, it won't really help you that much. So we want to... As I was saying, you want to head up here. And there's one thing I really got to mention right now. You really don't want to spend that much time in this place because, let's just say, after a while, you pass out and you do advance with the story, but you miss some of the good items you can get here. So it's best if you just do what I say. So we head northeast. That's the direction where you want to head in now. Northeast. All right. There's a certain place we should be. I think it's like another. Yeah, one more screen and another battle. Joy. Because if you stay out here too long, well, yeah, basically, you're pretty much done for and you really don't. You really can't go back to get any items. It's kind of a shame, really. Okay, now here is the tricky part. You want to. You see, like, this little arrow at the top here? You have to, like, maneuver around so that you. Are you kidding me? Alright, so basically you want to come up toward the north, and you want to move around here because there's a little entrance. You can't see it, but if you, like, move around enough, you can find it. It's really, it's kind of hard to find. Like, I, that was just luck I found it right there. I don't know how you're supposed to know this, but uh, I guess they expect you to. But the main reason you want to come down here is because there's some very good material you want to pick up right here. And it, it, in combination with the death blow, it, it becomes very useful. You can barely see it, but if you examine right here, you get the added cut material, which basically means combine it with an... Let me think. Um, you combine it with the material and you basically get an attack in right after it. So, in combination with death blow, if you actually... If you miss with death blow and you have an added cut, you'll get a second attack just to make sure you actually hit the enemy. Now, anyway, you want to touch the hot spring right here to trigger something later. All right, now we've done that. We we're getting we're near done with this. There's still some stuff left to do. Ah, more tedious screens. Oh no, enemies that screen. Eventually, I'll get to the, like this huge freaking area. Like when, like you'll see, guys, you'll just see. I think this is it right now. I, I, yep. Oh my god. Now this can be confusing right here. Basically, it gives you directions. You can press OK to place a landmark, which you'll need to make sure that you keep your path. So keep one every few steps. And eventually the room's going to spin like that, or at least this area is going to be. And you basically, if you keep going in the right direction, you end up at this little cave here. Which, if you actually examine this, you get, right here, an all materia. Yep, another all materia, as if we needed one. 